Have you ever thought about when it comes to the issue of getting saved about how simple salvation is? I mean, the Bible tells you and I that getting saved is not hard. It even is laid down in this terminology in Romans 10, 13, that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That calling is an evidence of the trust or belief that has already taken place in the heart. And so as they call out, they are, they are professing their belief in Jesus as the Son of God, as the Creator of the world, as Lord of all. And, and just by calling, God said, I'll save you if you call. Now that's not just empty words that you pray. It's, there's got to be a belief in your heart. And, and can I say, if you're, if you're wanting to call and it's coming from a place of sincerity, God said that I will save you. Aren't you glad for that? Aren't you glad there's not some loophole system you got to jump through and, and, and you got to you know, do this or do that? Oh no, just when you find out you're a sinner, just, just put your trust in me and, and call, he said, and, and I'll save you. What a Savior. It's not hard. And then on top of that, the fact that it's, Free. To us it is. It wasn't free to get. It cost Jesus. It cost Jesus everything, but it cost us nothing. I mean, the Apostle Paul put it this way in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Have you ever thought about that? A free gift. I mean, we're, we're coming up on the holiday season soon, and somewhere around December, we'll exchange gifts sometimes with people that we love, and we, we do things for people because of our affection for them, right? We give gifts because we want them to be enriched by whatever we gave them, and that's what God did with salvation. He didn't put stipulations on it like you got to change your ways or become a member, get baptized. No, 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 no. Don't get the heart, cart in front of the horse. He said, I have a gift for you. And the way you receive the gift is when you find out about it, you reach out and you take it. Right? So God made salvation simple. He made it free, and yet men reject it. When I think about the simplicity of salvation, it blows my mind that everybody isn't saved. When, when I think about what salvation provides, it blows my mind that everybody isn't saved. Do you realize today that if Somebody could come up with a way to put peace in a bottle that you couldn't put a price on it and men wouldn't pay for it. Yet the Bible teaches you and I that the peace that most people in this life are searching for is available through a relationship with Jesus. Jesus made this statement to his disciples in the book of John chapter 14. He said, my peace I give unto thee. And can I say this morning, it's a peace that passeth all understanding a peace that floweth like... There is nothing like being saved and having your conscience cleansed enough where you can pillow your head at night and know you'll never have to give an account or pay for your sins. That, that, is, that is absolutely invaluable. I mean, you couldn't put a price tag on the peace of a clean and clear conscience that only God can give a man by saving him. It's wonderful, man, to have peace. 